Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is at work. And in this video, we are talking about edge angles. What is the best edge angle to put on your knife? This is the Demco 8020. Absolutely love this knife. But we are talking about edge angles. So the first thing you're going to want to think about is what is that knife for? What is it used for? There's lots of different blade shapes and you need to figure out what that shape, that blade shape is used for. So like say the React K2, this has a dual grind. It has a deep hollow grind right here, but then up here it's a flat grind. So it's going to be two different um, thicknesses right here. Now, if we move over here to the Spider Koyo Jumbo, this has a worn cliff with a very acute tip. So this knife is going to be used for a lot of utility purposes. So this tip is going to be used. I don't want it to be fragile. So, you know, I want this tip to be as strong as possible, but also as sharp as possible. But figuring out what that knife is going to be used for and what that blade shape is going to be used for is going to be the first thing. Second thing. How thick is the knife or the blade behind the edge? Because the thicker it is behind the edge, then the lower the angle, the thicker it's going to be. Meaning like, okay, a 15 degree angle is going to look bigger. The edge bevel, this is the Benchmade 940-1 with flytanium scales. So the edge bevel right here, the the, the bevel of the edge that you sharpen on a knife at 15 degrees is going to be bigger than if it was at 20 degrees. So knowing how thick it is, is, is going to, you know, be something you have to figure out because the, the lower the angle, the bigger the bevel. So if it's a really thick, if it's really thick behind the edge, then that edge bevel is going to be very big if you lay it back. Also, the height of the blade, because like, look at a knife like this that's very short. It's not very tall. If I lay the edge back too far, my edge bevel is going to be all the way up here. And it's going to look ridiculous. The, the edge will be all, the, the knife will be all edge. <laughs> so, you know, you, you got to think about that. How thick is it? How thick is it behind the edge? Behind the edge, meaning right here, you know, right here by the edge. How thick is it there? How thick is the spine and how tall is it? What's the taper like? Because the lower the edge, or the, the, the farther you lay the edge back, meaning like 15 degrees versus 20 degrees, 15 degrees is going to cut better. But it's also going to not be as strong. So, and it might cut a lot better, but if you knock something or hit something, it might be more fragile. And there's going to be a happy medium for every knife where it's going to be, you know, a good roundabout edge. And we'll, we'll get into that in a second. Now, the benefits of a lower angle, so like uh, 22, 25 degrees, something like that, it's going to be a lot stronger, but it's not going to cut nowhere near as good. And going back to what the knife is for, like this Demco 8020. Now, this is a hard use knife. If I look at the edge bevel right here, I'm not sure exactly what it's set at, but most likely it's about 22 degrees. Now, if I lay that edge back really far, my edge bevel is going to be very big because this is thick behind the edge. It's a harder use knife. Yes, it will cut better, but it might not look as good aesthetically and it might be weaker of an edge, you know, if I was wanting to chop with this thing or do some prying or some scraping or something. Now, figuring out what you are doing with your knife is going to be key. If you're just primarily cutting with it, then it might be a good idea to lay the edge back a little bit. But you got to consider that thickness because, you know, you don't want to go too far because otherwise the edge bevel will look ridiculous. Let's show one where I put 
a 20 degree angle on one side and a 15 degree on the other side. And it will show you, we will show you how the difference looks with this knife. And I'll explain why I did it here in a second. <clears throat> so if you look at this side, this is 20, I think it's 20 or 20 degrees. 20 or, sorry, 20 or 22 degrees. And you see how the edge bevel is nice and small right here, and then it gets thicker towards the tip. The reason why is because it's thinner here than it is right here. It gets thicker. Now, when we flip it over, look how big that edge bevel is. A lot bigger. This is 15 degrees. So it's laid back a lot more. Now, before, the edge was just like this on both sides. And it didn't cut good at all. I mean, this thing was not a good cutter. Once I did this dual edge, I guess you could call it, where it's almost like a chisel grind, but not quite because it does have an edge on the other side. This thing not only got ridiculously sharper, but it cuts five times as good, at least. <laughs> I mean, this thing cuts so much better. So I'm very happy with this, the way, you know, the edge is. Now, this was me messing around trying to see if this would work, which it absolutely did. But you got to realize that your edge might end up looking like that, and it might look ridiculous on the knife. Or you might not care, and you might say, I, I like a big edge bevel like that. Now, certain knives that are very thin behind the edge... You might not need to lay it back crazy far like that because it's already going to cut good. This is, oh, I'm sorry. This is the, the Bob Terzola drop knife. This is the Spyderco Gale Bradley 2. And behind the edge, it's between 10 and 15 thousandths. So it's already very thin. It's already a great cutter. Now, if I lay the edge back too far, it's already super thin. That can make my edge very brittle. You know, if I hit a staple or whatever, or if I'm working with it, you know. So I'm already going to have great edge cutting performance out of this thing. So you know, maybe leaving it in a happy medium spot would be better than laying it back too far. I don't want it to, to also not have its fullest potential by going up to 25 degrees or anything like that. So I want to kind of be in that, that happy medium place. So in my opinion, the best edge angle for most pocket knives. Now, remember, we talked about all these factors, so there's going to be differences there's going to be nuances but between 17 and 20 degrees i think is usually good on most pocket knives 20 degrees being certain knives 17 degrees being others or anything in between usually you can get away with 17 to 20 degrees on most pocket knives and it being you know well rounded um i personally prefer a 17 degree angle on most of my knives. Now, if it was a, a slip joint that has a very, very thin blade stock, you know, then I might not go all the way down to 17 degrees. I might go at 20 degrees because I want it to, because it's already cutting good, right? It's already super thin, you know, and I'm talking about the whole blade itself is very thin. So, you know, if the edge is a paper thin, I, I need it to be a little stronger. So I might go up to 20, 22 degrees. But for most folding knives, 17 to 20 degrees does work out really good, in my opinion. Now, when it's a good idea to, to not, or to go at the higher end of that would be like on a Warncliffe. Right, because if I lay this edge back so far, say to 17 degrees, the tip of this thing is going to be very because the edge bevel's bigger. Remember, if the edge bevel's very big, then that means that my tip is going to be more acute and it'll be bigger, so it'll be finer and it'll also be more brittle. So, if I'm going to be using my worn clip for utility cuts, I need that tip to not round off the first time I use it. So I need it to be a little bit stronger. So like, you know, with certain worn cliffs, seven or 20 degrees might be better, especially depending on the thinness behind the edge. If it's very thick behind the edge, then maybe not. Or 
If it's very thick behind the edge, you know, it kind of depends because, like I said, if it's really thick, the edge angle or the edge bevel will be a lot bigger. You know, the thicker it is behind the edge, the, the, the bigger the edge bevel. So you got to put those things into consideration. Now, you might have a dual grind like this where... You do one angle right here, say 17 degrees, and then, or 20 degrees even, 20 degrees up here, and then, um, and then maybe a little bit of a lower or higher angle, just depending on what, what you're working with. So in this instance where this is a deep hollow, I would probably go... 20 or sorry 17 degrees here and then probably 20 degrees here to match them up a little bit better because i don't want this to be massively big up here and then this one to be very tiny so you know i might go a little bit bigger or lower of an angle here at 17 and then 20 degrees here and you know or keep the same angle all the way around but if you do that then the edge is going to be a different size from here to here here it's going to be bigger or sorry smaller than here it'll be bigger up here the edge angle will look a lot bigger even though it's the same angle it's just it's the thickness difference now something like the Tucson TS-129, this has, I like to call it a drop foot blade shape, but it's kind of like a sheep's foot blade shape where it does have a downward shaped tip where it has, you know, a lot of utility cutting um, abilities, but then it has, you know, a slight bit of belly for slicing and it's nice and thin behind the edge with a great taper. This has amazing blade geometry, so it already cuts very, very good. Now, in order for me to not have a fragile tip for utility cuts, I might not want to lay it back too far. So with this, I might want something right in the middle, but you know, between like a 17 and 20 degree angle where I have a good durable tip for utility cuts that's still acute enough for utility cuts but i also have great cutting performance which it most likely will already have because it has such good blade geometry so a, a knife in between or a blade for like this would do great between 17 and 20 degrees, like 18 degrees, something like that, where I have great cutting performance still, plus a, a good tip for utility cuts that's not overly fragile. Now, something like the, the Demco 8015, I might want to lay it back just a little bit because it's thick. It's robust, and it's not going to have the best cutting performance. So I lay the edge back a little bit, not too much to where my edge bevel is all the way up to here. But um, I haven't sharpened this yet. This still has the factory edge. But when I do, I'll make it just a little bit bigger than the edge bevel it has right now. Not by much, but just a little bit. So if it's 22 and a half degrees, like most factory edges, I'll, prob I'll probably go to 20 degrees on this one that way i still have a lot of great strength out of it but i get that little bit more cutting performance out of it now with something like this the spartan harsey folder i laid this back to about 17 degrees now i did that because then even though this is a hard use knife because i wanted it to have better cutting performance the tip is already a good thickness. I don't have to worry about the edge being fragile and it doesn't look too ridiculous, the edge bevel. So it only benefit, benefited me to lay the edge back on this. And now, you know, my, like I said, this isn't really too much of a utility cutting knife, but you can get by with doing it. But my tip is nice and thick and robust. So now I have a lot better cutting performance out of a knife like this now going back to the demco knives you could say the same thing so this being really durable thick tip you're not really going to have to worry about the edge being fragile if you lay the if you lay it back to say 17 degrees you're it's only going to benefit with cutting performance but you know it might look a little 
it could, you know, just depending on how far you lay it back. If you lay it back to like 15 degrees, it might look a little ridiculous with that big of an edge bevel on it. You know, it might not look as, you know, normal, I guess. Now, that's just going to be something you're going to have to decide on your own. Um, but, you know, you will get a lot better cutting performance out of it without sacrificing the the edge being too fragile so but this is a hard use knife so it just really depends on how hard you should really going to use it so you know that's why i said with with these you know i might not lay it back all the way back to back to 15 degrees but more like 20 degrees maybe a little um a little lower 18 degrees possibly but you know in certain circumstances you might want to go all the way back to 17 degrees you know for just pure cutting performance out of it you know because maybe you're not hard using it and chopping with it and scraping and prying and you know you're only cutting with it something like the tucson ts290 which is extremely thin behind the edge i think i measured this one like ten thousandths behind the edge you know, it's already very thin, but the blade stock is pretty thick. I don't have a far distance here, right? Kind of like we were talking about with the 940. So in this instance, I might lay the edge back just a little bit farther um, than, than the factory. Most factory edges are usually around 22 and a half degrees. So remember that most, not all, but most are between are about 22 and a half degrees. Some are 25 degrees, some are 20 degrees, but I find that most of them are 22.5 degrees. So if this is 22.5 degrees, then a 20 degree angle isn't going to make it that much bigger, but it will benefit it in cutting performance a little bit. Now, if I go to 17 degrees, yes, it's going to be a bit bigger it'll be quite a bit bigger but since it's so thin behind the edge and it is a flat grind so it does wind up getting thick pretty quick it has a relatively thick blade stock so back here is going to be relatively thicker than the very edge so laying it back depending on that taper from the edge to the thickness it might look a lot bigger than you would have thought, even though it's super thin behind the edge. So, but on this one, I'll probably personally go 20 degrees, maybe 17 degrees. Like I said, I think 17 and 20 degrees is a great angle for most pocket knives. If I can hit right in there, 18 degrees, 19 degrees, 17 degrees, I'm happy. I do sometimes think 15 degrees is even better if if it's, you know, a certain type of knife, if it's um, a certain type of thickness behind the edge and the taper from the spine to the edge isn't dramatically thick. Because let's pull out the Spyderco Shaman really quick, because this will actually talk a little bit about something. So if you look at this, I put 17 degrees on this one. Okay, 17 degree angle. You see how big my edge bevel is. It's pretty big, right? I But it cuts very well. Now, if I look at this other one I sharpened, Spider Crow Shaman, same thickness, same everything. This one's about 20 degrees. So it looks maybe in your opinion, better than the big bevel, or maybe it doesn't. I mean, everybody's different, but it's still going to cut very good, but it's going to be a little bit stronger than this one. So figuring out you know, if you're willing to put a big, massive edge bevel on your knife, if it looks, because some people don't like the way it looks. Some people do. I personally, um, a lot of times I do like the way it looks. Um, and sometimes I don't, it just kind of depends. But with this, this is still extremely sharp and it still cuts very, very well. So does it need to be as fine as this? This is a hard use knife. 
well, what kind of hard use are you doing with it? Are you just doing hard use cutting or are you doing hard, hard use to it? Because in that case, you don't want to go back to 15 degrees or 17 degrees. You might want a 20 degree angle. With me, this is personally, it's just a hard use cutter. I, I like to cut with it and I want it to cut at its highest potential. So 17 degrees, I'm very happy with on you know mine personally. So you just kind of got to figure that out. But like I said, between 17 and 20 degrees, I, in my opinion, some people will disagree and some people will say 17 degrees is better. I think in some cases that they're right. But in a lot of cases, I, I would disagree. So you do have to figure out what works best for you and what you like for your preference. But in my humble opinion, between 17 and 20 degrees is a perfect edge angle for most pocket knives. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.